Hi there, welcome to another help video. In this video, we will be going over the Add Manager section of the Settings tab. So let's begin. First, it'll have you log into your ad network. The Ad Manager is a system used to set up, manage, and track your advertisements for your website. It will also provide stats for clicks and impressions that each ad gets from viewers. The system also provides you with downloadable reports for this information as well. I want to note that the Ad Manager is only available for websites using the Pro Package or the Advanced Package with the EnvisionWise or LinkedIn Radio platform. I will now walk you through how to add new advertisements to your website. This is a three-step process. First, add an advertiser, then add a campaign, and finally add a banner. Like I said, I will be walking through this entire process with you. First, let's add a new advertiser. So as you can see, we already have a list of advertisers below, but for this demo, I'm going to add a new one. So click add new advertiser, add a name, a contact, and an email for that contact. I want to note that this contact and email section should be the contact name and email of your client. If you do not know their information, use your own. Below here, we have other optional fields you can fill out. Then click Save Changes. Now that you've added a new advertiser, it's time to add a new campaign. You can do so by clicking it here or clicking it in the sidebar. Here is where you choose the campaign type. As you can see, there's three options to choose from, but Remnant is the most popular among our clients. Other optional settings have now appeared below. You can choose a start and end date. You can choose a pricing model, set the campaign weight, and then set a delivery cap per visitor. Then click Save Changes. And now that you've added a campaign, it's now time to finally add a banner. and then add a name. I think it's best to include the size of your image within the name just to keep it easier. Then select a file from your computer. Next, add a banner link. This is the website that your visitors will be taken to when they click on the actual advertisement. If you want this link to be opened within your website window, add underscore self to the target section. Otherwise, leave the target section blank and the website will appear within a new window. Then scroll down and click Save Changes. Now, click into your new banner. As you can see, a preview will appear above and now there are some more options I want to go over on top. First, let's go over linked zones. If you add an advertisement and never link it to a zone, it will not appear on your website. Listed below are all the websites that you may have within our system. And below that, there are different zones listed where this specific advertisement can fit in. So size matters. Zones will only pop up if the specific banner will fit within it. You can check as many of these different boxes as you would like, and then click Save Changes. I want to note that it can take up to three to five minutes for a banner to appear on a website, so please be patient. I will now go to our website to see this new advertisement. I added this specific ad to the side column and there are a couple different ad spaces here and it has appeared below. I want to note that as you can see there are other advertisements here. All these campaigns all have the same weight, so they all have an equal chance of appearing on this side column. However, if I wanted the Pepsi ad to appear five times more than any of these other ads, I would change the campaign weight to five. All campaign weights are set to one as a default so that all advertisements have an equal opportunity of displaying on your website. Now let's go back to the ad network. I now want to go over how to add a new zone. So say you wanted to add a default right column badge number six. You can do so by going to Zones, 
and here are all the different zones that you have on your website. To add a new one, click the Add New Zone button, then change the name. Then choose a size. You can choose from the drop down menu or add your own. Then click Save Changes. And as you can see, our new zone has appeared below. So now let's go back to our banners. Click into our banner, go to link to zones, and then here you could add this advertisement to this zone as well. However, since this is a new zone, we need to go back into our admin site and add a new stack zone to the website or else this will not appear. So let's go back to the admin, go under menu and pages, side columns, and here you can see ad badge one, two, three, four, and five. So we need to add a new ad badge number six. And then change the item type to add zone. Then add this new stack item. I'm gonna position it to the bottom and then click into this yellow button. Here go under add zone settings, select a zone, and then add the new zone that you just added. I also recommend turning off the headline, then click Save Changes. Now let's go back into our demo website, and as you can see, there's now six advertisement spots here. The final thing I want to go over in Ad Networks is the delivery options. Here you can add new delivery rules. The two most popular are time and page rules. So say you want this Pepsi advertisement to only appear on your photos page, you can do that. Click add new delivery rule, scroll down, and click page URL, then click add. Then go to your website, go to a specific page that you want this advertisement to pop up on, and copy the URL. Then go back to the ad network and paste that URL here. Then click save changes. Now, this ad will only appear on this specific page. Now let's also add a time rule. So click in the drop down menu, scroll down to time, and you can do the date, day of the week, or hour of the day. So I'm gonna do day of the week, and click add. Now you have the option to choose when the day of the week is any of the following days, or not any of the following days. So I'm gonna choose is any of, and then Monday and Tuesday and then click Save Changes. So now this advertisement will only appear on the Photos page on Mondays and Tuesdays. And that wraps up this video. As always, if you have any questions, feel free to visit our Help Center or contact customer support. Thanks for watching. Be sure to check out our other help videos and we'll see you next time.